She says she running away She says she can't take it no more, no So she run away, yeah. She can't love him what she want Hey family, today we are going to work on my doorknobs We're going to be painting these doors Painting my hallway um, And we're going to finally I am going to tidy up my makeup shelves So we have this gray wall that was coming up my staircase It made the staircase very dark You know, I put it in there when gray was hot But gray is not right now so I'm taking it out and I am putting it white. So I'm gonna have the whole house that same color. I have one more spot to remove this color from and it's in the living room, but I'm doing a built in there so you guys will see that one coming. Hey family and welcome back. If this is your first time seeing me, hit that subscribe button and season greetings from my home to yours. On this channel, we do interior design, a little bit of vlogging, some DIY, and lifestyle. So if that is what you're looking for, go ahead and subscribe. Now, let's get into this video. Okay, so basically what I am doing is I am painting the doors a white color. So the paint, um, I'll put it in my description, but the paint that I'm using is... Uh, it's an oil-based paint, but the VOC on it is like zero. I literally, you can't smell anything, and normally you would not want to use an oil paint inside of the house because of the strong smell. But with this oil paint, you literally cannot smell anything. So they have really gotten um, oil paints to, you know, to be usable inside the house. These are better on doors and on your baseboards because when you need to wipe these off, they're very easy to wipe off versus if, if it was like say a flat um, water-based paint. Um, if it was like a semi-gloss or gloss water-based paint, also you'd be able to wipe it off. But since this is wood, you don't kind of don't want to put water um, base paint on wood. Uh, you know, depending on the wood, you could end up with some swelling or so. So it's best to use the oil base um, paint on these type of, uh, let's say, not finishes, but these type of materials is the word I'm looking for. Can't really see it because I already painted it. Um, let me see if I can. Oh, there we go. So you see the grains in the wood is coming this direction on this part, but let's see if you can see it up here. Up here, it's running vertically. Okay, so when you're painting something that has texture, especially like a wood grain like that, you wanna go in the direction of the grain. It gives you a better coverage. Okay, you cover um, quicker than if you went opposite to opposite to the green okay so when that's the only tip i can give you right now in terms of um painting and you know not having to put too much coats on okay also what you don't do is you don't roll out your roller like let me show you so i am going to put see i'm only going right there pulling it back right there just to the tip i'm pulling it back and then I'm rolling like that so I can get an even coverage on my roller. And then when I come here and I roll, let me show you something. You see when I do that? That's it. Don't try to roll all of the paint out of this going across. If you do that, you're going to find yourself sometimes having to put on almost three three quotes you can continue going over the part you already painted you can do that but don't try to roll out doing that is going to cost you to um use more it's going to take you more time because you're spending more time doing that and then you have to end up going putting sometimes a third coat on it okay again i'm coming here now i'm going to start right to the end of my last one that i did And you see now it's starting to get thin 
So I know I need to stop, right? And I'm gonna come back over here and do that. Basically the key to it is don't try to roll out all the paint out of this. Because when you do that, um, you're kind of making the, the thickness of the paint unlevel in certain areas. And you're gonna find yourself having to go and repeat over that area because you're gonna see where it's looking thicker than the other. Okay? So that's the correct way to apply paint. Um, if you're doing like a big wall, the next thing you can do is, you can do like W's to start, W like that. And then you roll down this way for the W. That's if you're doing like a big flat wall. Okay guys, so these are the doorknobs that I got and I got them from Amazon. They are a matte black and um, it's gonna, what is what this is gonna do is gonna really upgrade the hallway versus those knobs that it had on before. So if you just want to do a quick, simple upgrade to your space, doing the doorknobs is a great choice. So, Basically, I am just taking these knobs off and I'm going to put the new knobs on. Um, I was working with this screwdriver, but that was like taking too long. So I eventually I moved to the electric drill and was using that instead to remove it. So I'm going to show you guys me taking this one off and starting to put the other one on. Um, I'm not seeing the footage of me actually completing it out but when i do show when i do do the video of the complete home upgrade that i've done for 2021 um you'll get to see that but basically all i'm doing now is i am changing all the parts out this is pretty um straightforward i should say pretty straightforward to do um the the knobs that i'm using on these doors on um, this door that one bedroom door and the bathroom door are basically like let's say the dummy knob locks and then the other ones would actually be the ones that has a key so this is just like a small closet in the hallway and i am changing sometimes you can leave those tongues on but i am changing everything because i want that matte black throughout Okay guys, moving on to this shelf. I have shown you guys this shelf over and over and finally, 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 I am getting it tidy up. Now, I normally used to clean this a little bit more often, but since I do not wear makeup like I used to, um, I haven't worn like makeup on a regular for probably the past two, probably like past two years since 2019 ish and yes baby Zyla made her entry <laughs> but yeah I haven't been wearing makeup like on a daily basis at all so um this shelf really looks bad so what I have is like I have like a whole bag of samples so I would get samples and I had like this Sephora bag and I would just drop them in there a lot of this stuff I know for a fact is expired. Um, some of them I will keep and some I will um, get rid of. 
um yes makeup do expire for those who did not know makeups do expire they have a shelf life and then they have a life after you open them so if you look on it you will see um you'll see like it's a little icon that shows you what and then they'll say below it what the shelf life is and then you'll see on top where it says i mean not on the top but you see another icon that tells you like after you opened it what the life of that product is some of the products you can still continue to use them some you don't you'll see me smelling my lipsticks and the reason for that is because normally when lipstick are expired and it's like they're really bad they have this funny smell to them that like you won't want to put them on your lip because you literally be smelling it it doesn't smell stink or anything it just has a a old smell to it so you'll want to discard those items okay
joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ while fields and flowers. The sounding joy, repeat the sounding joy, repeat, repeat the sounding joy. No more let sins and sorrows grow, no thorns infest the ground. He comes to Curse is found, for as the curse is found, for as, for as the curse is found. He rules the world with truth and grace, and makes the nations prove the glory. Of his righteousness and wonders of his love, and wonders of his love, and wonders and wonders of his love. Brother, you hear that? No tree for sheep. No tree for sheep. I'm getting rid of the gray. Make my hallway look bigger. La 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 la. Da 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 da. da. It's a white Christmas for me. Um, um, we'll call it. It's gonna be gone. Okay, guys, as you can see, the difference. With me removing that gray off the wall. I do not regret putting that gray in the staircase. Because um, I knew throughout the years. I would have to paint that even more if I did not. Because when the kids are going up and down the stairs. Even when I'm going up and down. I have my hand on the other side bracing myself to go down. So it would have gotten really dirty. So I am using the. Um, this is eggshell. Yeah. I think this. Yeah eggshell. 
so I am using eggshell it is a Sherwin William color um, it's SW 6000 snowfall is the name of it and this is what I have throughout the house so what I'm going to do on this wall on the left is I am going to put um, some trims on that wall to create a design coming up on that wall I think I'm only doing it on that wall though my hallway is gonna look awesome and when I get my stairs done I'm moving these short walls right here I hate those walls because stuff always get um, cluttered on top there so I'm definitely gonna take those walls out and um, you guys should see that update coming sometime soon <laughs> guys thank you for watching and i will see you guys on the next one bye she said she running away she said she can't take it no more no.